Hello folks. So I've got a week off work and I am just taking a couple of days, a little hike, a couple of nights camping in the Peak District, which I've not been to since I was a kid. So it's nice to come somewhere that I don't know. Uh, I have with me Mark from uh, Trick of the Trail, his YouTube channel. He's uh, kindly met up with me. He's kind of met in the middle of where we both live and he knows the area quite well. So he's uh, my tour guide for the next couple of days. So we're on Kinder Scout at the moment. We uh, parked up at Lady Bower this morning. We've kind of worked our way up here. It's a glorious day. And uh, even though it is a bit breezy, uh, it's actually quite nice. So yeah, it's been a very nice day for it. And we are just, I think we're doing about 16 miles, was it Mark? Yeah, if we, if we make it, that's that far, yeah. Yeah, that's confidence for you. <laughs> but yeah, about 16 miles we've got planned and um, we'll see where we end up tonight with the camping. But uh, so far it's been a really enjoyable walk. All right, so it's probably heading towards 6 p.m., something like that. We stopped to filter some water. How would you describe the water we filtered, Mark? Uh, looks a bit like wee. <laughs> I was going to say funky, but yep, yeah, I'll take it. Looks a bit like wee. Um, it's got a very odd colour to it, but uh, it doesn't taste too bad. Uh, and I was glad to see some as well because we were both we we're both quite low. So yeah, we stopped to filter some water and we are now looking for a suitable home for the evening. It's not bad. It's not great. No, it's maybe it's a bad. maybe a little bit lumpy. Yeah, but um, there's actually quite a few people up here tonight. It's obviously a beautiful area and very popular. And there's been there's been quite a few people wandering around doing exactly what we're doing, looking for somewhere to sleep. Yeah, it's maybe not too bad actually. Feel, this feels quite rocky actually. Oh, we're very picky, aren't we? <laughs> anyway, no doubt we'll update you if and when we find somewhere. But in the meantime, just look at the views down here. Isn't it stunning? I think it's going to look a little bit different tomorrow. We forecast um, some thunderstorms tomorrow, so I shall see what happens with that. But um, yep, yeah, going to find somewhere to sleep tonight. So we finally found somewhere to pitch, just enough space for two tents. The ground isn't the best. Mark's just there setting up his um, very, very complex looking stone glacier. I've not seen that one before. And I've got the, um, the XMID Pro 2 set up and it is a shocking pitch as well, basically because the ground is so uneven. Um, and I am kind of on a slant as well but it's going to be good enough to sleep in and it's going to be good enough for one night at least. We've kind of struggled to find somewhere that was kind of out of the wind. Um, this, this even this isn't ideal here but it's, it's going to do. Uh, so yeah we're gonna finish off setting up and um, Mark has very kindly brought some steaks with him uh, and I believe he's even offered to cook them as well <laughs> so yeah looking forward to some food not had a great deal to eat today there we go chef Mark has been uh, been busy look at those steaks I hope you can see them you probably can't see them actually but um, yeah there's some steaks there and we have got some cakes there and let me tell you they are mighty weighty Torbakes cakes if you're anywhere in the Rydale area 
you're a lucky person. <laughs> uh, Mark has also brought himself uh, a bar. Basically, he's got uh, quite a lot of tasty looking beer there. I've just, I've just gone for two ultra packs. And I just brought the small ones, so I've shit out there. 5.4%. I know, it's oh, pathetic, it's isn't it? It's pathetic. But um, yeah, we've got the steaks that Mark's kindly brought and cooked up. We've got some couscous down there. Um, we've got the cakes and there might even be a few Pringles left if we're lucky. Um, so yeah, that's us sorted for the next uh, hour, I would say at least. And it is a real nice night. We have just got a little bit of cover from the wind down in this... It's not even... It's just a, a small depression, basically. Um, but yeah, nice little spot. Good morning. As you can maybe hear, it's rather windy. And it has been rather windy the entire night. Hello again. Managed to drag myself out of the tent. Um, it's about 20 to 5 on um, Saturday morning. And it's a nice clear morning. There is some light in the sky already. But basically the wind, as I say, switched during the night and it's basically co coming straight into us now, straight into the camera. Whereas before it was coming from up here. Uh, so it's bundled round and uh, you can see I'm, I'm just getting basically broadsided. Uh, so that's where the, the side panel guy out came. Uh, and I've just had the, um, the wind meter out and the highest gust so far has been just over 25 kilometers an hour so even with a really really bad pitch and let's not beat about the bush that's a horrific pitch of that tent um, it's standing up to that wind pretty damn well so pretty pleased with that Well, it's a little after half past eight. We're on the move again. Finally got packed up at camp after someone's little accident. <laughs> Can't be helped, mate. Uh, Mark had a, a can of beer explode in his backpack. Luckily, he managed to uh, avert the worst of it. So, just took a little bit extra to sort stuff out and pack up. But uh, yeah, we're back on the move again. Um, weather's pretty decent at the moment. Actually quite warm when you get out of the wind and the wind's not even cold either. It's quite a warm wind, so it's still blusting about 30 kilometers an hour. It's not calmed down a great deal since last night. So yeah, quite a windy old spot. 
but as you can see the views are really cool and there's all these little rock rock piles and boulder formations at the edge we keep stopping to take pictures on them you can tell it's been dry though because there's not a lot of water like there's a riverbed down there that's completely dried up and it looks like at one point it's actually been quite a decent river so yeah you've yeah. got, you got the river that goes down there uh, that's snake pass there oh, okay so uh, snake pass and oh i can just see a little bit yeah yeah, yeah right, right in the right bottom there. yeah yeah so we just keep going on we've got a, mar a mark's mapped out a route to uh, a pub which is about 13 miles we don't really know what's going to happen today um the weather's supposed to get really wet this afternoon um so we're just going to kind of play it by ear heading towards the um was it derwent edge you said mark edge, yeah. yeah heading towards derwent edge for possibly a camp tonight Okay, so we've come past um, the rather impressive Derwent Dam. Uh, we've come through a little bit of weather, um, kind of a heavy drizzle maybe, and a, a bit of a heavier shower. Uh, it's cleared up again now, but it, it does look kind of threatening in places. Um, if you can see kind of centre shot, um, that was what we were looking at this morning. There's Kinder Scout, and uh, we've come we've come down off the top of there where we camped last night, down into the valley and back up again, and now we're on the opposite side, um, and this is Derwent Edge, I believe. Yeah. We're just going to go and check out a possible uh, couple of campsites for tonight, and then rumor has it there is a drinking establishment nearby, so um, that's where we're going. Right, so that was, what was that pub called we just went to? Strines. Strines, Strines the Strines yeah. Inn. Yep, very welcome feed and water. So, we're supposed to be walking into a large electrical storm right now, but um, it's actually a very warm, sunny evening instead. No complaints here. Yeah, easily the best part of the day. Um, so we're heading back up onto Derwent Edge and we are going to investigate the stone pile called the Coach and Horses because Mark <laughs> believes that there's two very good camp spots there and it's a case of obviously first come first served. Um, so we're going to wander up there see if they're available if they are we shall snag them if they aren't we'll be moving on to Backtor, which is where we had a look at earlier on and found kind of one and a half decent camp spots so yep that's that's the situation at the moment a couple of miles maybe to go and see what's happening and avoid the thunder and lightning. It's about 8.30 p.m. and we got to the Coach and Horses rocks in, uh, in decent time and we were lucky there was nobody here. Um, so Mark is pitched just around the corner to the right and I am pitched this side. I was a little bit concerned about the wind um, and there was a real nice flat spot here, just perfect. So I've, I've got the tent up here. Um, as you can probably hear, it is raining at the moment. There's been some thunder banging around and it looks like we're in for possibly a bit of a lightning show as well. I'm not sure, but um, there's definitely going to be some rain coming down.
So I am going to make myself a hot chocolate in my little porch area here and sit and watch what happens next. So as you may or may not be able to hear, there's just a loud crack of thunder above us there. And just before that there was a nice big flash of lightning as well. So the fun and games have started. Good morning. Survived the storm quite well last night. It did keep raining for a while afterwards and um, you could actually watch the storm just moving across the um, across the moors. It was it was quite impressive to see. But as you can see this morning there's this mist blanket in the um, landscape. It's, it's just approaching 7 p.m. and I, I've only just woken up about 10 minutes ago. Um, really good sleep in the end, actually. Uh, you see uh, Mark is just joining me around the corner here, <laughs> doing exactly the same thing that I am. Morning, Mark. Okay. How are you doing? All right. How are you? Um, literally just woken up, mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was about 10 to 7, I just sort of like, I heard somebody walking around and I was like... Oh, I was sure you'd been aware. oh no, no, I was like, oh, someone's walking around. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the tent coped very well with it. And um, it's nice to wake up to this, mo we were talking about this moody sort of mist earlier in the trail. And uh, it's quite nice to wake up to it, although it is just to say coming off at this side now and uh had inversion going on earlier oh right okay not much of one but uh, they're, they're obviously in, in the clouds at the moment yeah yeah so very very nice very interesting night overall Hello again, it's probably about 8.30 and we're on just a little bit of a descent down to, uh, down to where the car's, car's parked or where it's hopefully still parked. Nice view down there, down to, I'm going to assume that's Lady, Lady, Barrel. Lady Barrel Reservoir, so the car is down there basically, somewhere. And then back up there you can just... Oh that's the one, yeah that's the one with the um, barrier across isn't it? Yeah. 
And so back up there is the coach and horses that we were camped at last night. I've seen a few mountain bikers this morning. It just clouded over a little bit again. It was real bright earlier on, real nice. Um, so yeah, just heading back down now and then we're gonna head to Hathersidge and get some breakfast. So I wanted to record something just to finish the video off. Um, didn't get chance on the Sunday. We'd walked down, it was only a few miles down from where we camped, um, down Derwent Edge to Lady Bower Reservoir where Mark had parked his car. Um, I travelled down on the train and met him. Um, he'd driven up from where he lived. Uh, he'd left his car parked at Lady Bower in the parking zone at the side there. Um, and we were just getting back to the car and realised that somebody had put the back windshield through. Um, it looks like they've just come up on the road in a car, they've seen a car parked there and they've just hammered through the back window to see if there's anything in there worth stealing. Um, there wasn't, Mark had taken, you know, there was nothing left on display, there was nothing in there worth stealing. Um, it's just one of those things, you do get scum unfortunately, um, and they have obviously put a damper on the weekend for Mark and myself as well. Mark obviously in particular, he's had to claim on his insurance excess. So if you are leaving your car in situations like that, just bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, had a, had a good time otherwise. So if you've not seen any of Mark's videos, um, he did this time on this trip, he filmed a lot more than me. I was very lazy this trip, I didn't film a great deal. Um, he also interviewed me was, as well, which I thought was... <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a cool idea whether it'll come off or not I don't know but if you want to see his video and his footage and if you want to check out some of his other videos from his other trips please go and see his channel uh, Trick of the Trail I'll put a link up um, he's, he's had some really cool trips actually um, and uh, yeah he's got some good videos up on there so it's worth checking out if you're not subscribed to this channel um, please consider doing so keep putting out videos every now and then I try not to spam it too much <laughs> usually only when I've been been off somewhere doing something or I've got some uh, gear to review I'll tell you about I will be going on a six week trip um, shortly in the next couple of months and I'll be putting out some gear videos for that hopefully um, so yeah please stay tuned please subscribe thanks for watching guys and uh, as usual happy trails